guys so uh, I haven't really done a project in a while so I figured yeah I might uh I might attempt one just for a bit of fun now I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos on these new um, Razer uh, what are they, crazy carts I think they're called um, if you don't know what they are just YouTube it and you'll, you'll soon see what I mean so rather than buying one because I think they're about 500 bucks or something stupid for something that looks like it's pretty poorly made to be honest um, so I'm going to try and make something uh, for about a hundred bucks and so hopefully a lot more fun, uh, a little bit more big boys style. So yeah, I've got all my materials or well a, a few of them anyway. Um, I probably will need to buy a few more bits and bobs, uh, obviously a seat I haven't acquired yet but uh, I've got to get a tip on the weekend so much to get a school chair or something like that or I'll just steal it off my old go-kart because that's uh, sadly it's just a uh, Rusting away. Yeah, it's missing a wheel too. I nicked it off something. Um, so, m my idea is uh, use what I've got rather than spending money that I don't need to. I was going to power it with this SR20, but it's a little bit too big. So then I figured, well, I'll go for something smaller. So I was thinking of powering it with this Ryobi Whip Sniffer motor. Um, which I welded a sprocket onto, which is I think it's 11 tooth or 12 tooth, something like that. But the clutch is um, is really shit, and uh, Ryobi's, we all know that they're pretty horrible engines, they're temperamental, they go when you want them to go, or they go when you don't want them to go, and they don't go when you want them to go. So I figured on something I want it to be reliable, and then um, these motorized bike motors are sick. Uh, I used to ride this around, when, obviously I didn't have a license yet, I was still young and um, had bucket loads of fun on these things so I no longer ride this obviously because uh, I've got a car so why would I need to shred all these babies yeah anyway so um, yeah I thought well rather than rusting away in the shed uh, I'll use the motor of that because that's got plenty of power it's got a manual operated clutch all I need to do is buy a starter a pull starter um, because usually you start this by pedaling and then dropping the clutch um, but on my uh, drift cart it's not going to be able to pedal so what you can do is you can unbolt this and apparently uh, buy a starter to go on there so I'll have a look into that hopefully I can get one of those whole project is sort of ruined but um, if not I'll find a way maybe push that up with a mate or something like that but yeah I'll use that um, for the motor and what I'm going to do is use the front end of this as a cart. So I'm going to mount the sprocket, which is on the rear tire of this currently, onto the front. Somehow mount the motor uh, onto the bike. Uh, probably going to have to make up a custom mount of some sort. And then hopefully keep the brakes so I've got some stopping ability. Um, if I need to, obviously you're not really going to go that fast with these things, but you know, no, it might get a bit hairy. So, oh, hopefully there's not too much wind, guys. I'll get out of there for you. Um, oh, it's not too bad. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll use the, chop that up, uh, because it's more bike and I haven't ridden it, ridden it in probably four years. It's just rusting away, so chop that up and use that rather than buying something. And then I've got the, this metal I bought from Bunnings, uh, four meters, so it should hopefully be enough then I've got these car stools so the rears obviously gonna be these suckers uh, 100 mil I think now and then the fronts they're only little because the fronts actually don't get driven on they're only for stability I probably didn't even really need to buy these but I figured oh, I may as well so I got smaller ones because uh, if you actually look on these things the wheels are usually sit seated like this and then it's got a handbrake mechanism on the thing. When you pull the handbrake, it lifts the wheel up straight and um, makes the back end kick out. Um, so yeah, normal normal driving, you're going to be like this. So if this wheel is mounted up front on the exact same height, they should be relatively level. Now, it's actually slightly. It's probably not going to be on that crazy of an angle. It's actually slightly slightly higher so it's never actually going to touch this wheel unless uh, it rocks over and then it's going to just guide on those ones um, just so you don't topple over so yeah 
So I haven't really done too much uh, drawing of this yet. I'm just going to pretty much pull that motor off and try to rig it up to the front end of this and then chop it off and um, make like a little rectangular frame up, mount the wheels to it. And yeah, I think the hardest thing is going to be mounting the motor and then the second hardest is making the handbrake mechanism because I need to change the angle of those casters. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I was thinking of doing, getting like door hinges, but I think they will be a little bit too um, weak. Uh, so I need to think of something a little bit more heavy duty. So if you got any ideas, guys, uh, let us know. That'd be sweet. So I'm just going to muck around with this and um, keep you guys updated. So yeah, sweet. See ya.